I'm Damien Thompson and I am Global Head of Consumer Insight at Wavemaker. And this is one of three films looking at how the pandemic is changing consumer behaviour, all based on global research that we ran in 20 countries during the lockdown. So in each film, I am going to address a question about what these changes mean for brands. And the first topic I'm going to look at is consumer anxiety. Now, arguably, this is the most important issue that brands must address uh, if we're to see a return to growth. Anxiety both in relation to the virus itself, um, but perhaps more importantly, uh, anxiety about the economic challenges that we now face. Now, if you think about previous recessions, economic recovery has been dependent on consumer confidence, people feeling able to, to indulge in discretionary spending. And as lockdowns have lifted around the world, it's clear that many people are happy uh, or even eager um, to return to shops and restaurants and, and cinemas and so on. But a significant number clearly still remain anxious and cautious. And while the financial pressures created by the pandemic may fade quickly for some people, uh, for others they're going to last for years. So it's vital that brands find a way to help consumers and deal with this anxiety and navigate this anxiety. Because as the pandemic reminded us, even small shifts in behavior, such as the minority of people who, who panic bought um, household goods, for example, um, can have significant effects uh, on the economy. <clears throat> and this means that in many categories, even if the less fearful shoppers are the, ma are the majority, they may not be a sufficiently viable market. So therefore, uh, in a future where zero or even negative growth seems likely, the challenge is going to be how do you find the behaviours that form part of enough people's lives to present an opportunity for brand growth rather than just survival. Uh, so how do we do this? So our research showed that there are three things uh, that we need to address. And the first is we need to reframe how we think about targeting consumers after the pandemic. So our research that we've run across hundreds of categories uh, looking at purchase journeys show that those journeys differ significantly between countries and regions and even within the same category itself. And so more than ever, we need a, a detailed, researched, nuanced understanding of different audiences at local category specific level. And second, we need to recognise that the pressures on consumers will not be felt equally across categories and they may well have fragmented our target audiences because not everyone will be equally affected uh, by the pandemic and by the economic repercussions. So existing audiences and demand spaces may well remain valid, uh, but they will have to be reinterpreted through the pandemic's uh, effects on different parts of those audiences and, and segments. And third, we need to consider consumer anxiety in every buying situation. So when we're planning our communication, um, we must accept that during a time of anxiety, making brands salient and reminding people to buy them may not be sufficient. Um, when you think about consumers uh, experiencing new barriers and drivers to purchase, being thought of in buying situations only works if those situations include the newly anxious reality. Uh, in, uh, if you're in any doubt about how important this is, um, this is why Amazon is spending $4 billion uh, on creating what Scott Galloway calls the Earth's first vaccinated supply chain. I think ultimately um, we can expect to see this anxiety affecting some people's purchase decisions for months or even years to come. Um, but we must recognise that the effects will differ widely by, by category and country and consumer. And so above all, uh, the important thing is to have a detailed understanding of what your audience's purchase journey now looks like and to recognise and understand that the consumer attitudes and behaviour that dictate pricing and messaging and communication and so on for the foreseeable future may well not be those that we were planning against just six months ago. Mm -hmm.